Hello, kings and queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma, and as always, I love to have you here. Today, I'm going to be doing my favorite video of all to do, and that is making money moves. I'm going to be cash stuffing my variable expenses, okay, which are my cash wallet, my cash envelopes okay so before i get into it if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel i am happy that you are here with me if you're a new viewer welcome to my channel if you like what you see click the like share and subscribe and become part of the family if you're returning royalty welcome welcome back queens and kings i have something good for you okay um as i get into the video before i do my cash stuffing I just want to do a couple of things, okay? Um, for those of you who are a regular subscriber on my channel, you know that I have more than 500 plus subscribers, which I'm super happy about that. It is a blessing to be part of the budget community and to be part of the YouTube family, okay? And so what I'm doing today is I'm going to be monitoring my monetized tracker. I purchased this one from Hustle Budget Repeat. This is her template that she has on Etsy and I purchased it from her shop and I thought it would be a great way to keep in track of how I am doing on my channel, okay? Um, last time I did it, I had a total of 100, 200, 350, okay? So now I am going to be adding my additional um, colored in, okay? Because each of the squares are 50 subscribers, okay? So, like I said, 100, 200, 350, okay? So, I'm going to be coloring uh, 400, 450, 500. Uh, as of today, I am at um, 544 subscribers, okay? So, since these are by 50s, I can only color the additional three to make it uh, 500 in total, okay? And then when I get a little more subscribers, oh, let me do that in view. And let me know how your day is going in the comments below. Did you work today? Are you off? Um, are you on vacation? Let me know how your day is going. As always, you know I care about you and I always want to know how you're doing, okay? All right, so now that we have taken care of that, okay, um, I also want to be going over what is the rules for my giveaway uh, for me hitting 500 plus subscribers, okay? So before I do my cash stuffing, okay, what I want to go over is if you're going to be entering for my 500 giveaway, you must be 18 years old or older. You must be a United States citizen, okay? And number three, you must be subscribed to my channel okay, publicly, and I do mean publicly, meaning if I go on your channel and look at who you're subscribed to, I should be able to see all the people you're subscribed to. If you're, um, if it's not showing, then do not enter for this giveaway, okay? And number four, you're gonna put one of my favorite videos that you like, you're gonna share it on YouTube, okay? Whichever video of mine that you like, you're gonna share it on YouTube. And number five, in this video that you are watching currently now for the giveaway rules and my cash stuffing for my variable expenses, you're gonna tell me, okay, what year did you start your YouTube channel, okay? Whether you actually have a channel or you just um, been part of YouTube world, how long has that been? Enter the year below, okay? And you're also, for the giveaway, I am giving, um, I did give a um, community post question, which I do them daily just to have you thinking and um, just putting some fun content out there. Um, one of my questions was, what would be a great giveaway gift card option? And my options that I had put as the choices was Etsy, okay, Amazon, Walmart and Target, and a lot of you guys have, of course, <laughs> said you like Etsy for sure. So in the comments for this video, remember to put what year you started your personal channel, and you're gonna put hashtag 
which gift card you would like. Is it Etsy? Is it Amazon? Is it Walmart or Target in your comment? That way I'll know you want me to enter you for the giveaway, okay? With that being all out there and all the rules on the table, much luck to all of you. And I will be announcing the giveaway winners, which there will be five of them, okay? In honor of me being my 500 uh, mark, okay? 500 plus mark. I will be selecting five people to give a giveaway of $25 each, okay? So that will be my giveaway to whoever lucky five winners that may be, okay? With that being said, let's get into the cash stuffing. All right, let me open my money bag, which I purchased from what? Timu, okay? And my bank envelope right here that I purchased. And I have this here. This is how much I'll be stuffing. And guys, I got a lot of different denomination. And this is my no spend month. So a lot of the cash envelopes that I normally stuff, I won't be stuffing. But I did get a lot of um, denominations. Uh, more bills than normal. I usually get like 50s and 100s. But this time around, I got a little bit of some of everything. Okay. And the total here is one. 470, excuse me. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Five singles. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, five, forty, four, five, fifty, fifty, five, sixty, sixty, five, sixty, five, eighty, eighty, five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. Okay, a hundred and five, two hundred and five, one hundred and ten, hundred and twenty. 125, 130, 135, 135, okay. So that is 145, okay. And then the next one is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 140, and 10s. Now let's slide that right in here. Move my little piggy. And 20, 40, sorry guys, 60, 80, 100 and 180, okay, and 20s. And I hope everything is in frame. And here we go here, and my calculator just in case if I may need it, all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and I could hear, money, 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 those are my coins, all right. Great way to save using what you already have, all right. So let me open my coins jar. And let me know if you guys are doing any coin challenges, all right? My husband always collects coins. And at the um, mid-year or when his drawer gets full, he always says, babe, take it to the bank. And then we change it. And then he lets us buy something extra, you know? And so um, this time around, I'm saving my own coins. And it's a, it is a great feeling to do so, you know? He's like, look at you with your coin jar. Now you guys aren't taking none of mine. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting them in here. All right. <clears throat> now here are my cash envelopes. Okay, and these are the ones that I am not doing since I'm doing no spend, no eating out, no house, which means um, toiletries, and I'm cutting back on shopping. Um, keeping it to the minimal list, right? I'm only spending uh, what's in my cash envelopes that I budget for from my original budget, okay? If you saw my August monthly budget, then you know what those categories are. And here they are, groceries, gas, personal, and kids. And I also am going to be cash stuffing my back to school um, envelope as well because I'm going to be using that as the school year begins. If there are any extra fees, that will um, come up, then I will be stuffing it, but the money will already be there, such as back to school uniforms, um, their spirit shirts, or any additional fees that they may have once school opens up, okay? So there we go. So you know it is fully back to school season, so all the stores are busy. Everybody took advantage of the no tax free week, which I did myself and got my kids a couple of things, and I am ready for them to go. I am counting down. Parents, if your kids have already gone to school, you already know the feeling. You already know how I'm feeling at this moment. 
I am literally counting down. This is their final week before they return back to school and they return to school next week. And I cannot wait. Okay, so let's cash stuff these envelopes. For groceries, I am cash stuffing $200. Okay, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, $200. So I grab two tens to the 20s and I'm putting $20 in groceries. And if you remember me and my husband, we do split the four walls. So for groceries, when we do go shopping, all right, I always budget $200, especially because it's peak season and my kids were home for the summer. But even though they're going back to school, we're going to do one big shopping and fully stock the house with all their snacks just in case there are days they want to um, bring lunch or they have like a sport event or they have friends over. Um, we will be doing additional shopping. And also whatever I'm grocery shopping, if I'm running low, um, my husband also contribute as we're shopping. So I just use his card and that's how we do that there. Okay. But me personally, every pay period, I put $200 aside. Okay. For gas, I am putting $60. Okay. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. $60. In the comments below, let me know how much are you budgeting for the month of August for your groceries, okay? And gas. I'm curious to know. For personal, I am simply putting $20, okay? So that's a 10, 10, which makes it 20. And that's just in case if I need anything. Remember, I'm doing a no spend. So I put 20 just in case I got to get something. It'll be there. For kids... I am putting $30. That's for my son and daughter to get their hair done. I will be styling my daughter's hair for school and my son will be getting a haircut. Originally in my last cash stuffing for the end of July, I have put some money in here, which is a 20. Okay. And I left it in here and I'm just letting that build up just um, when they're getting their hair. If there's anything they need, the money will be in there. If I shop under, great. If I shop over, it'll have the money in there to cover it. So I am putting in there 10, 20, 30. Okay. There we go. All righty. And the day is going quick. Cannot wait to relax. I just came from work and I just wanted to put the video out to share with you guys how I'm stuffing my variable expenses. Okay, let me know if you have done your cash stuffing for your variable expenses, what week are you doing? Are you doing week one, week two, or week three? That's for the people who get paid weekly. If you get paid bi-weekly, um, which cash stuffing have you done already? Okay, for yourself or for your family? And I believe those are the categories, okay? Now, the next category that I will be cash stuffing out of my sinking funds is the back to school, okay? So I'm just gonna flip through here and find it, and here it is, my back to school envelope. And in here, I am going to be adding, it already has $10, because in one of my cash stuffing videos, I did put 10 in there. I am gonna be adding the remainder, okay, uh, $100, okay, into that envelope, okay? And this is $100 remaining, okay? And I am doing, let's see here, the remainder. I have a lot of fives, guys, because again, I'm gonna be paying a lot of school activities, um, signing up my daughter for after-school care, and um, just the application fee, they already sent me an email about that. And so I am putting the remainder $100 that I have here into the back to school, okay, envelope, okay? And I'm just gonna put them all together. I already know how much is left after cash stuffing the other categories, okay? And let me unclip this because I'm going to keep this in my pocketbook, okay? Because I am going to be spending that. Alrighty. And let me know in your um, variable expenses, which categories do you spend the most money on? The ones that you really are trying to uh, 
really manage, but as always, you always seem to overspend in those categories. Let me know in the comment below, which variable categories do you overspend on? I know you don't want to, but for some reason you always do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And that is from there, it's going to be um, $100. And that'll equal, I had a 10 already, so that'll be 110, okay? And today, I believe today's date is, let me double check. Today's date is, let me look 15. on my thing, okay. On the 15th, okay. All right, we're good to go. And hopefully, I'm praying this can fit in here, guys, because guess what? <laughs> this is a lot of singles, uh, fives, and 110. So it's quite a few to equal the 100, okay? I'm just going to slide that in there. That way, they'll have it. It'll be in my pocketbook where everything will go. I'll go ahead and slide it. All righty. Yeah, there you go. All right, and I will add the rest of these in there. With that being said, my name is Budgets with Elma. Thank you for coming to my channel. And remember, if you're interested in applying for the giveaway for my 500 subscriber giveaway, um, remember the deadline is on Thursday of next week because Friday I will be announcing the winners. And again, let me go over what the giveaway rules are number one you must be 18 years or older number two you must be a united states citizen number three you must be publicly subscribed to my channel and i do mean publicly okay not just commenting but really publicly subscribe to my channel number four you must share one of my favorite your favorite videos i should say from my channel okay any video you want share it and um on this actual video you're watching, which is number five, you're going to tell me what year did you start your YouTube channel, whether you actually have a channel where you're putting content out or how long you just had your YouTube channel, okay, that you watch whatever you watch on it, whatever content you like, but what year did you start your channel, okay? And also, to let me know you want to enter in for the giveaway, you're going to put hashtag which gift card you would like. And those options are Etsy gift card, okay, Amazon gift card, okay, Walmart gift card, and Target gift card, okay? Those are the rules, and that is how you enter. And remember, Thursday of next week is the last time to enter for the giveaway, and Friday I will announce who the winners are. With that being said, thank you for coming to my channel. And as always, I love and appreciate you. And in the Bible, it says, John 13, verse 34, love one another as I love you. Kings and queen, I love you for giving me your valuable time and always showing your love and support on my channel. And of course, subscribing. With that being said, have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video.